In a previous video, I described how to create tangent joints in Fusion 360. This video is going to be an application of that process in making a rolling wheel. The first step is to create a wheel assembly. This wheel assembly will contain the wheel component and all necessary attachment points and constraints that will allow me to make it into a rolling wheel in the final assembly. So I'll save this as wheel assembly. Next step will be to bring in the wheel component. The wheel component can either be linked or it can be a modeled directly into the uh, wheel assembly. It's up to you, whichever is most convenient. I'm going to orient it to make it more usable in my final assembly. The next step in this assembly is make this wheel saw rotate. I'm going to use a simple sketch to make a rotational or a revolve joint for the center of the wheel. I'm going to place this on the XZ plane. Simply draw a sketch point on the origin is all I need to do. Next I'll make a revolve joint using that point and the center of the wheel. I'm going to use in the far side to that point. Now I have my revolve joint. The next step is key to doing the tangent joint. What I'm going to do is make a sketch point on a work plane in the top level, not inside the component. So I'll go to construction and make a plane at an angle, excuse me, a tangent plane to the wheel surface. I'll leave it at zero. I'll next make a sketch on that plane and I'm going to place a work point on the inside edge of the wheel. This will serve as my tangent point to the surface. Go to home and save. The wheel assembly is now finished. Next thing I'm going to do is go ahead and open up my pre-developed wagon assembly file. This already contains the flat surface where I'm going to roll the wagon along. I'll next bring in my wheel assembly and position it to help me out configure it. So there's my attachment tangent point right there to the surface. So I'm going to make a slider joint so it can slide along the surface. Joint and then pick slider. Take that point. So I'm going to pick on the midpoint and give it an offset of three and a half inches. Now, I need to make the motion so it follows a different path. Use a custom one, and I'm going to pick that edge so it moves along the surface. It's on the wrong side, so I'll go back to my joint and I'll reverse it. Head joint and reverse it or flip. Now it's on the surface. Well, we've got our tangency and we got it rotating, but it's not behaving correctly. So, what we now need to do is add a motion link. To make the motion link easy, we're going to need the circumference of the wheel. So, just go to measure and pick on the outside rim. It is there is a length of it right there to the circumference. Left click on it to put it on your key, your clipboard. Next thing we go to create motion link. And we want to relate the slider joint to the wheel joint that we made earlier, the revolve joint. So I'm pick on the slider. And I'm going to pick on the revolve. 
Now, it's going a little crazy, so I need to change this value. The distance for 360 degrees will be what I just copied to the clipboard. Now it's rolling correctly. Well, that's all it is to it. We have a wheel rolling along the surface at the exact rate it's supposed to with a motion link. Let's go ahead and add another wheel and an axle assembly just for, to review the process. So, we first of all will bring in another wheel assembly. You can copy the one in the assembly if you desire. It doesn't make a difference. Next thing we're going to do is put the tangent joint to the surface with a slider joint. I'm going to use the same attachment point and the same offset of three and a half. Whoops, I forgot to do the flip and the change of direction. So I'll add a joint. I'm going to flip it and I need to change the motion to be a custom direction along that edge. So now this wheel is sliding along the tangent. I now need to add my second motion link. So motion link. I'm going to do it between the second slider joint and the joint within the second wheel assembly for revolve. The value comes in because of the last time, but just to be sure, I'm going to paste it again and say OK. Now this one behaves correctly. I'm now going to bring in the subassembly of an axle. And I'm going to just position it to my advantage. Next thing I want to do, I want to add two revolve joints between the axle and each wheel. So I go to joint, revolve, I'm going to pick this chamfered edge right there to the outside edge of the wheel. Say OK. I'll then do the same thing with the other one. And I have my carriage assembly. Started pretty much with one side complete. So, you can see the advantage of that work point on the rim as an assembly point. Gives me my tangent ability to a plane. Hope this helped you.